Hi everyone, Terry here. One of the greatest challenges of boondocking is your water management. And I've got some tips here today to help you with that. One of the things that that we did, one of the first things we did, and we learned a lot of this from other people, but then we've also developed our own. So one of the first things we did is we dilute our Dawn dishwashing soap in a bottle. And we were adding water to that with the dilution, but now we've decided to add hydrogen peroxide. So we are getting our things sanitized as well as washed. Okay, so that's tip number one. Tip number two, of course, is use tubs for your washing and rinsing so you don't have to fill up your whole sink. Um, tip number three is wash your dishes, dishes once a day um, so you don't waste water washing dishes all the time. Another thing that I do to help me save with water let me get these work. Is if I have something that's heavily soiled with a lot of food in it, I take a wipe, a disinfecting wipe, and wipe it out and get all the food particles out of it as much as I can before. I wash it. Then all I have to do is concentrate on washing. Tip number five. If, uh, if you want hot water, don't run all your water out of your hot water tank. Just heat up a little bit. You can even use your dirty dishes to heat up the water. And you only need a little bit to warm up the water for washing. Now, when it comes to washing dishes, tip number six. I wash my dishes, rinse my dishes, dry my dishes, okay? When I'm done washing the wash water, guess where it goes? It doesn't go out the door. It goes into the bathroom in a tub. Why? Because that is then used as water, what do you want to call it? <laughs> that's, that's used to flush your business. <laughs> um, and then the rinse water gets poured in here and it's your wash water for the next time. So basically what I've tried to do is try to find two uses for our water. At least two uses. Sometimes we have a, what do I want to say? We have a ice water in here but we want to freshen it up. We pour the water into our dog dish so that he can have water and then we freshen ours up. So you got to come up with some creative things to help you with the water management and I've got some more to show you after this. Another tip for keeping your kitchen appliances clean is I use these sanitizing wipes to wipe down my uh, Cuisine Art Griddler Elite. This, is, this has been one of our favorite modifications or ads that we added to the trailer and, and we'll do a review on that at another time. But when I get done wiping this down, then I can wipe my counters down. I don't need to use any extra water out of my sponge or sink to wipe down my counters and surfaces. Okay. Tip number eight. You know, with COVID and everything else going on in the world, we like to wash our hands a lot. Okay? So, a tiny little stream of water is all you need to wash and rinse your hands real quick. You want to avoid this. So use this tiniest stream that you can 
may come out of your faucet to wash your hands. Okay, one of the, one of the things I like about our Grand Design faucet is that the water in the kitchen is very easily controlled and I can get just a trickle coming out when it comes to washing my hands or, or rinsing something that's too big for, for the rinse pan. Um, you can get by with a lot less water than what you're used to in a sticks and bricks. Number nine, you can use hand sanitizer. You don't even need to use your water then. So again, you're saving water. Another tip, I forgot what number I'm on. You guys just keep track of it. I'm gonna pour a little bit of water out of my bucket into my pan from this morning when I cooked my eggs. And when I'm done washing this, I put the water back in the bucket. I'm not lost any water and I have very little water in here, minimal water in here. Whatever you do, minimize your water use to make it go further. You, what you want to do is you want to try to use as little as water as you can so that you can make it go further and you'll, you'll be able to boondock two to three weeks um, like we can if you have a rig like ours. Our water tank is 80... 93 gallons. 93 gallons, including the water that's in the hot water heater. So we we can go, depending on our use, two to three weeks without having to get uh, water to uh, add to our fresh tank. Okay, I'm done with my dishes. I'm going to take this tub of water, what little there is, and pour it in the tub in the bathroom. Remember how I told you I put the rinse water in the wash tub? There's probably a little more water in here than I need for my wash tub. So I'll put a little bit in here and the rest of this will go in the bathroom. One of the things I use in my bathroom to keep it clean are these Lysol dual action wipes. I really like them because one, I don't need to use any water. Two, they're dual action. They have a little slightly scrubby side and a smooth side. So they're safe for the plastic on the toilet seat and they're safe for the toilet, the countertop, the sink, and the bath shower. <laughs> Here's another tip. These are baby wipes from Sam's Club. We use these for a lot of different applications. We use these to wipe our feet off before we go to bed. I use them to clean my face every morning and every evening. We also use them for a replacement bath. When we do that when we do use the shower, it'll be a military style where you wet, wash, rinse, and you're done. So we minimize the use of our water in everything that we use. So the tub of water, used water in the bathtub, we use to flush our toilet after you do your business, okay? And that'll help keep your toilet clean and it doesn't use as much fresh water. Now, if you're in, we have been in a dire situation where we actually turned off our water pump and used this only to flush our toilet. 
So if you want to get real extreme, you can do that. You can turn off your water pump and, and uh, just use the water in the bathtub to flush your toilet. I hope the hacks in this video have helped you today with your boondocking water management. Uh, all in all, I had 19 written down. I lost track in the film, but oh well, you'll figure it out. Um, if you have any boondocking water management tips for me that I haven't mentioned, please put them in the comments below. Hit subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. Until then, see you next time.